The Defense Forces of Ukraine, jointly with the Security Service of Ukraine have conducted a several days long operation of destroying the supply routes for the Russian troops in temporarily occupied Crimea. Early reports say a complex strike on substations and power supply networks was launched, as well as on the stocks of light oil products in Russia's Krasnodar Krai. At first, the defense forces launched a missile attack on two ferries that headed to the Kavkaz port and were used for the purpose of military logistics of the Russians. Then the security service of Ukraine drones struck the substations, which supplied the Crimean Peninsula and the water area of the Kerch Strait, including ports, with energy directly. On 30-31 May at night, the security service of Ukraine, jointly with the Ukrainian Navy, launched a strike on a transfer tank farm in the Kavkaz seaport. Light oil products were sent to Crimea through it. After an efficient operation, a massive blaze broke out, which could be visible even from the satellite. Russian troops killed 550 Ukrainian children since the start of full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, Ukrainian Prosecutor General's Office reported on Thursday. As of the morning of May 30, 2024, according to official figures from juvenile prosecutors, 550 children were killed and more than 1,354 suffered injuries of different degrees of severity the Prosecutor General's office revealed in a post in Telegram app. Two of the children were killed in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region on May 28. Russian strike on Selodov in Donetsk region killed a 13-year-old boy, while a 4-year-old boy was killed on the same day in Alexeyevodrushkivka, Kramatorsk district in Donetsk. Meanwhile, Seven people were injured in Ukraine's second-largest city Kharkiv as Russia launched massive missile strikes on Kharkiv and the village of Mala Denilivka in the early hours of Thursday, Ukraine's state emergency service reported. No civilian infrastructure of residential building was damaged during the attack. Ukrainian Air Force Commander Lt. Gen. Mykola Olshchuk announced on Thursday that Russia launched a missile and drone attack against Ukraine's military and critical infrastructure on the night leading to May 30. Russian troops used 8 S-300, S-400 air defense missiles in Kharkiv region, 11 KH-101, KH-555 cruise missiles launched from two 95MS strategic bombers in Russia's Saratov region and 32 Shahid-131, 136 drones launched from Primorsko-Oktarsk and Cape Chowda in Crimea. Putin is terrified of his entourage, FSB colonel. The Russian president, Putin, has a new wave of panicky fear of his own circle, which will want to get rid of him at any convenient moment. Russian opposition politician, ex-FSB colonel, Gennady Gudkov, spoke about this live on the Freedom TV channel. Most of all, Putin fears his own circle, primarily those who are able to get rid of him by force. Currently, Putin is even afraid to be in Moscow. Most often he stays in his residence behind reliable security, high fences, air defense systems in an underground bunker. Today the owner of the Kremlin is more concerned about his security than ever. He's just obsessed with it. He constantly changes, doubles, triples his guard, said the politician. He noted that more NATO, more attack drones and the armed forces of Ukraine, Putin is afraid of those closest to the Kremlin, the circle of those who wear the uniform. These are the people who are in his immediate circle, who are close to him. And this is his main threat, because Putin understands perfectly well that one fine day, his circle will decide to get rid of him. And in general, he is right. I believe that such thoughts arise in many people, including those who, perhaps, today, bring him lunches and dinners, protect him, etc. The oppositionist clarified. According to him, in order to take control of the security bloc, Putin began a major purge of his generals. The first reason for these purges is so that the generals do not think 
that they are the most important but feel like mere mortals. And at the same time, it's cleaning up those who are dissatisfied with Putin. The second reason is that Putin is concerned about mass theft in the army and in the defense complex as a whole. That's why Andrei Belousov was appointed and anti-corruption cases began. Although, in fact, it is a priori impossible to eradicate corruption in the defense complex of the Russian Federation. It is an integral part of the Putin regime. A certain limit will simply be set. Roughly speaking, 25% can be stolen, but 75% cannot. The third reason for the purges is to create a precedent that generals can be repressed from time to time and in such a way that they are afraid, stated Gennady Gudkov.